This new Charger Stadium plan has been thrown into the mix. San Diego Councilman Scott Sherman, who represents the district where Qualcomm Stadium now sits, presented the proposal today. And 10 News viewers were able to watch the announcement live on our app. And reporter Steve Fiorina shows us what makes this idea different from those already on the table with the Stadium Advisory Group. This is the artist's conception, the new multi-use stadium off to the northwest corner of the parking lot, with heavy commercial development covering most of the 166-acre site. Earlier plans had called for less density. What I see is not just a parking lot, but an amazing set of opportunities and a canvas that we could, we could turn into all kinds of opportunities for San Diego and, and for keeping the NFL here. It would be financed without new taxes, no money from the city's general fund. Rather a base of several hundred thousand from the Chargers and the NFL, plus revenue from personal seat licenses, private investors, naming rights, and some land sale. The idea behind the real estate development portion of the project outside of the stadium would be that it would be self-funded by the developer. A funding plan is the focus now of the Citizen Stadium Advisory Group, as it works to present a finished product to Mayor Kevin Faulkner by next month. Chairman of that group said he welcomes Sherman's involvement. His leadership is important, obviously, and you know we look forward to reviewing what he has as far as the financing options and, and what development will work on that site. There have been overtures from two Los Angeles communities to lure the Chargers. One from Carson, where they'd share a stadium with the Raiders. Another possibility would be joining the Rams in Inglewood. The Save Our Bolts group is trying to help keep the team in San Diego. Another voice supporting the Sherman plan. I think it's beautiful. The renderings are beautiful. Clearly, there was a lot of thought put into it. And Sherman said he sees his proposal as a catalyst for economic development in Mission Valley and a way to revitalize dreams of a San Diego River Park as well. Mm -hmm. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. And many of us remember the plan many, many years ago. It looked a lot like that. It had a lot of retail and a lot of things that supported the property. That's how there are no taxes in the plan. They're trying to tweak so. and make it work. Yeah, it could be. Looks good in graphics. Mm. See if it comes to life. All right, thank you, Steve. Uh, 10 News asked San Diegans if the new stadium were built, which method they would prefer to use to pay for it. Now, in our exclusive 10 News UT San Diego poll, only 10% said a developer, which is Sherman's plan. 52%, however, wanted revenue generated within a stadium. 18% wanted hotel tax. 13% wanted increases in property tax revenue to pay for back for bond investors. And 3% said dual ballot. 5% still not sure.